Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay Deus Ex. And we last we left off, we've been searching this club for Nicolette, and there's only one more person here that we haven't spoken to. This young woman sat at the table. Either she's Nicolette, or she's someone who knows Nicolette, or she doesn't know Nicolette at all, and the whole go to the club and search for her was one giant false lead. Let's hope it isn't. We really need to find her. I'm looking for Nicolette Duclair. So? Do you know her? I know her name. I know that her mother called her Angel. You know her mother? It's a friend of her mother's I need to find. Angel. That would make her a fallen angel now, wouldn't it? You must be after Everett. Yeah, Morgan Everett. How did you guess? What makes you think Nicolette would betray one of her mother's closest friends? I helped her friends from Silhouette. Chad will vouch for me. I'm after the people who murdered her mother. You are an assassin or something? When necessary. Go out behind the club. I will talk to Nicolette and perhaps she will meet you there. When necessary, eh, JC? I think you're an assassin a lot more often than you care to admit. She will insist that you meet her alone. That's fine, we rarely have anyone following us around anyway. If you are lying, she will not hesitate to kill you. She'll certainly try. I doubt she'll get very far. Out back. Five minutes. Sure thing. Let's just hope that Nicolette decides to meet us. Let's go. Round the back is the way we came in, so... <laughs> Pretty lady, huh? Let's go out, the way we came in, and hopefully meet Nicolette. Need to go this way, round here, and this time I didn't get lost. It's the small miracles, eh? The exit's right here. And we can hear the familiar sound of Jock's helicopter. We have to go around here. Oh, hello. Did Nicolette say no? She decided not to show. I am Nicolette. I will help you simply to make trouble for Majestic 12. It's true, they killed my mother. Do you know why? She was an Illuminatus. The only people MJ-12 has ever feared are the Illuminati. Stan Dowd said they had fallen from power. How do you know Dowd? I met him in New York. A trusted friend of my mother's. Yes, the Illuminati are wiped out, but Paige still fears Morgan Everett. Where do we find him? One of my mother's many secrets. We'll have to look for clues at my family's chateau. It's pretty obvious that she is Nicolette purely by how unique her character model is. But you could go through the game the first time round afraid that you wouldn't actually encounter her. We have one thing we can ask about before we decide to go. There's nothing more that we need to find here, so we're not going to delay. Let's ask about why Bob Page is afraid of Everett. How does Everett threaten Bob Page? Page was an Illuminatus. For him, intellect is the foundation of power, and that would make Everett his most dangerous rival. But Everett's the one in hiding. Both the Illuminati and MJ-12 believe that the most intelligent or enlightened human being will inevitably gain power, ultimately seizing the eye in the pyramid and creating the world for everyone else. A kind of secularized version of natural law. Page has a trained army to protect him. He is still vulnerable. Much of his power comes from secret laboratories, meaning the right person could reverse engineer his whole power base. Let's hope you're right, and that Everett is everything you say he is. Let's hope so, eh? We need Everett's help if we're going to oppose Bob Page. Let's go. Let's go. You trust the guy in the helicopter? That's Jock. Don't worry, he hasn't let me down yet. Come on. Jock has been ever dependable, and we also got 300 skill points, which brings our skill point total all the way up to 4,979. I'm gonna take the plunge, folks, quite literally, and upgrade swimming. Wants to make it trained, wants to make it advanced. Our swimming speed and lung capacity have increased moderately. I'm gonna hold off on the master upgrade, but this is the highest that I've ever upgraded swimming. My JC is a swimming master! You won't believe how many lengths of the pool he can swim underwater. Let's go, Jock. Let's hit it. Indeed! Oh, 
Gunther, you were so close. You shouldn't have stopped for that coffee. Away we go! To my favorite part of the game. Chateau du Clare, outside Paris. Listen to that music. This is my favorite music track in the entire game. And this is my favorite area in the entire game too. You'll see why soon enough. I had not wanted to see this place again. Why not? I was afraid it would be like this. The same. Not a stone out of place. You would rather that Majestic 12 had burned it down? I would rather... No, let's go. Only in novels do places crumble to dust for no reason when their spirit is lost. Your mother? Lead the way. I no longer have a key. We must find my mother's secret computer room where she did all her work. A place she kept hidden, even from me. A fine objective. Nicolette has a lot to say here and she follows us around as we explore this large house. And you may notice that I haven't got my weapon out. That's because there's no danger here at present. There are no enemies hiding around corners. The only thing that's hidden away are the ghosts of Nicolette's past. A good place to start would be my mom's bedroom upstairs. I agree, pretty sensible course of action. My mother and I were no longer speaking at the time of her death. Oh. I left home because she and her Illuminati cronies were always pushing me into things. What kind of things? I was a rotten student, but that didn't stop them from getting me enrolled at La Sorbonne. Pulling at their strings and taking advantage of their connections for you. I was a stand-in for the world they never got to take over. That must have been a very difficult life to lead. Some conspiracy, huh? They couldn't even control little Nicolette. I imagine you made it very difficult for them to do so. And here comes the bit of the music that I like. It's just got such a melodic sadness to it about what could have been. Grandness that has fallen. I do love this part of the game. This place sure is quiet. That it is. Right to the very end, my mother believed they were going to stitch the group back together and rule the world. Hopeful till the end. Pitiful if you think about it. Like a senile old lady filling her house with the unopened boxes from mail order sweepstakes. You never know, she might have opened some of them. But my mother was remarkable in her own way. I overheard her tell Everett one night that she had calculated Majestic 12's private key. I'm gonna presume that's something pretty spectacular. Right here, where I grew up, she was tracking a global conspiracy and trying to do something about it. Like we are. She had a secret computer room, some kind of monitoring station. I heard her talk about it, but I never found the entrance. Hopefully we will. Even when we were on bad terms, I continued to deliver money to Silhouette because I knew how important they were to my mother's plans. And they were important in leading us to you. I also wanted to help Chad. A group like Silhouette has a lot to gain from an alliance with the Illuminati, in the short term. In the short term? In the long term. Well, if my mother had been successful, we would be trying to stop the Illuminati right now instead of Majestic 12. And that would have been a much more typical plot. Where now? Where now is to the front door, which is most certainly going to be locked. Yep, three picks or 50% door strength. We're not going to use that entrance though. We're going to do what everyone would want to do if they want to get into here without uh, having the key, and that is go around the entire house and look for an easier way in. And if we go to the back, we'll find a maze. And another door. This door. Crazy. I lost my virginity out here. I believe Mom was out conspiring to get me into La Sorbonne at the time. Nicolette has a lot to say. And even more if we talk to her here. Dull place to grow up, huh? It's certainly grand, 
and isolated. I'm so glad I moved to the city. A lot more people there for you to talk to. You lead. I will. None to there, though. We're gonna go here. This door is unlocked. But there are bits of wood blocking our entrance. Not anymore. We're in. I'm pulling up the floor plan. An old summer home built during the Third Republic. It's been vacant since Miss Duclair's assassination. Hopefully these elegant rooms contain some clues about the Duclair family's involvement with the Illuminati. Here's the hoping, Tracer. Mom and Everett used to sit out here sipping martinis and plotting to take over the world. That's how we all got in this mess. Always planning, always hoping. This place sure is quiet. That it is. Hey, Ben, how's it going? How did you know to get here? You were doing your own investigations, I see. Yes, that would make sense. You keep your eyes open for any secret switches that lead us to a computer room, okay? Okay. MJ-12 didn't follow you, did they? Good. They didn't follow me either. Be careful, Ben. Our enemies draw ever closer. Watch out for yourself. Let's look at that floor plan, shall we? We haven't actually been given a floor plan, Tracer. I think you're lying. We'll find our own way round. Large room here. And a sofa. Let's look at all the pictures just in case there's anything behind them. Anything to say? You lead. I will. Nothing here? My mom had that couch flown in from Portugal. Exactly the same as what she could have bought at La Samaritaine, except that it was once graced by the bottoms of a royal family. That was probably a very expensive sofa. This place sure is quiet. She'll pipe in occasionally with things concerning the room that you're in, but it's always a good thing to check yourself just in case you miss anything. Right, there was a multi-tool in there, but we don't need any multi-tools, so we'll go in here. And find a computer. Ah, that's what we want I to see. I don't know if this will help, but I used to use that computer whenever I was at home. The last time was just before my mother was killed. The login is Nicolette. The password is Chad. That could be helpful. Nicolette and Chad. Let's log in. Nicolette and Chad. There's something from Chad here. Nicolette, your aid in securing support for Silhouette has been invaluable. You've done much to help sustain the cause of freedom in the face of ever more open repression by our own government. However, I'm afraid that I must ask for your help yet again. The police have begun to raid the catacombs, and if we are to put up an effective resistance, then we must locate additional resources by whatever means necessary. I know your mother and her friends wish to remain anonymous, but any funds or material that they can contribute will be of enormous help. And even if they cannot, their continued goodwill is still of great importance to us all. Thank you, and I hope to see you again soon. Chad. They seem to have struck up quite a friendship, Nicolette and Chad. And now, something from F. Duclair. Re your help. The original email was, They need help or they'll be slaughtered by the porks who strut about the streets like they own them. You've helped us once before, and it has meant so much to the cause. Please, Mother, I'm asking you to help us again. You know so many who can. I will do what I can, dear, but the situation is far more complicated than I think you may be aware of. My connections within The Hague and the United Nations indicate that the problem is not limited to France, and many parties are using the Grey Death epidemic as an excuse to exercise their control over other national governments. I have to consult with Morgan. We must be careful where we choose to allocate our resources. It is a very dangerous time for everyone, Nicolette, and your flirtation with this organization could have serious consequences. I am asking you again to be careful. I could not stand it if something happened to you. In the meanwhile, I will do what I can. Beth. Unfortunately, Nicolette's involvement with Silhouette cost you your life, Beth, not Nicolette. Now, I wonder if there's more that we can find here by hacking this computer. No, there's just that one account. Fair enough. Let's keep looking around. Through here. Hmm? You'll find no one to help you here. 
Thanks for that information. I really didn't want to know that, Icarus, but then you don't care about what I want, do you? No, you don't. Here is a uh, PS20, and up here is something that I could potentially get. I think it's a multi-tool. Yeah, that looks like a multi-tool to me, but that looks like a key. Now we want that key, so we're going to jump up and get it. Marvelous. Beth's bedroom key. Progress. Dull place to grow up, huh? It's a pretty big fireplace, though. Anything secret in here? No, nothing. Always worth checking, though. And one spiffy picture. Now, we want to go this way and have a look. There's a way that way and a way this way. This way leads to the stairs and somewhere behind the stairs that has nothing of any interest. Fair enough. So we'll go this way and keep exploring the ground floor. There's so much for you to see and that I believe is the front entrance. So we'll have a look in here. The dining room. Nothing to say? Fair enough. There's somewhere down here. And a kitchen. Quite an expansive... The maid did all of the cooking, but Mom always picked out the wine. She was the only one with a key to the cellar. The only one with a key to the cellar? Hmm. That seems quite important. And I imagine if we go to check that cellar... It... Funny. You know, when I was a little girl, I used to play in the dumb waiter that goes up to Mom's room. Amazing, I didn't break my neck. Indeed. And another way to get in to Beth's room. We have a key, but that's one way to go. This door is locked with two picks or 50% door strength. We could break our way through, but I'm sure we'll find a key eventually. Now, we want to not use the dumbbell right now, and instead go upstairs and check out the next floor. I just love how peaceful this is, but with Icarus there, you know that something's going to happen eventually. Our enemies do know we're here having a look around. A secret room in the upper part of the house would have been very difficult to conceal. Look for clues in Beth's room. I bet she had a quick way to get to the cellar. Probably. Let's check this room first. It's locked. And we don't have the key for it. Hmm. There's this room. Looks like a room that has nothing particularly interesting in it. There's a med kit, but we don't need a med kit. What are you looking for? I'm not going to tell you. And I'm not going to think about it either, because I know that you can read my... Ooh, a key. Ignore that I found a key, Icarus. Nicolette's bedroom key. Marvelous. Where now? We're going to go back to that other door that I couldn't unlock. Because this is going to be useful. Marvelous. We're in. My little prison for 18 years. Not so little, it's quite large. There's a skull. What are you doing here, Spunty? Trying to find secret rooms? Good plan. I wanted to be in the city, but I guess Mom thought it was easier to keep her activities secret in the country. Quite sensible. You have a book here. That book is Richard III, Act 1, Scene 4. Anything else in here? There's a lockpick. We can always do with one of them. Anything under the cushions? No. There's a can of drink. I wonder how long that's been there. It's probably quite flat. And some throwing knives. We're not going to be taking them. What we are going to be doing is going this way. And marveling at the fact that no... I think my mother kept a room key behind a little vase up here. Did she? This key here? There are two versions of this key. One that the game will expressly tell you about, and another that it won't. Now, this door is locked. Is there something around here? 
another way into the same room. Four picks or 50% door strength. If you don't use explosives and don't have the key, it's gonna cost you a lot to get in here, either in skill investment or resources. I'm so glad I moved to the city. This is a very nice house. You could use this as a base of operations for whatever you decide to do. But you don't want to live here. You want to live in the city. That's understandable. And when we come back, folks, we'll go in to Beth Duclair's room and hopefully find what we need to find. I think there are goodies in there that I definitely want, but we want to find a key to the cellar. All things are pointing towards the cellar as being important. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.